Hello and welcome to another Tip Tuesday. My name is Mike Latsey and I'm an implementation specialist here at IndieSoft. Today I want to talk to you a bit about general reports in Print Builder. A uh, question I get asked a lot is how can we create reports unrelated to equipment or events? Uh, maybe you want to show some, some reports related to your vendors expiring or system administrator logs or even your equipment templates that need to be approved. So the first thing we want to do is we open up Print Builder. We're going to go under the General Reports category. I'm going to create a new report and we're going to call this Equipment Templates Awaiting Approval. I'm going to load from the existing standard template, that's fine. And wait for this to load here. Um, but the cool thing is our general reports give us access to pretty much any area of the software that we can uh, create a report on. Uh, so my first step here is I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to go under additional options here and I'm going to move this to my template category or templates. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. So when I do that, now when I'm building my filter, I have my fields all related to my template. And the field I'm looking for here is my template status. And I'm looking for any with an awaiting approval status. And I've got four records. And I can pick and choose my fields to customize this view as I need to. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And the next report I'm going to create is for my vendors expiring. So this is for uh, vendors uh, approval date expiring. And again, I'm going to load from the existing template. Again, I'm going to go under additional options and here I'm going to change my category to vendors. I'm going to say OK. And now here I have all of my fields related to my vendors including my approved date. So I'm going to look for those vendors with an approved date before today because I'd like to know if they've already expired or an approved date within this month and maybe any with an approved date of next month so I might have a be a little proactive and be able to reach out to my vendors and and get their uh, approval renewed uh, so we will say within next month as well and I want to make sure to change these to ORs so I'm going to test my selection and I've got three records so I've got my three vendors that are close or have already expired I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And the third report I'm going to create is for my system admin log. And I'm going to again load from the standard template. And additional options. And here my category is System Administrator Log. And so here, in the fields related to the logs, I want to look for my log date. And I'm going to say, I'm going to look for log dates between two date ranges. And I'm going to leave these blank because I'm going to be inputting these ranges uh, at runtime. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close this as well. And I'm going to show you how we need to first set up a visibility rule on these reports that we created. Uh, so I think I'm just going to leave these both all system wide. Uh, and let's make one for the vendors. And let's make one for our equi equipment templates. Now I can go onto my layout. Let's say I want to drop these onto my home layout here. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to say they look good over here. I'm just going to give it a little header. And 
maybe uh, a bullet. Okay, so in our toolbox on the right side, we're going to expand the general search bys and reports. And expand this a little. And now you can see our general search bys that we just created. So our equipment templates awaiting approval, and I need to give this some text. So I'm going to call this equipment templates awaiting approval. And then I'm going to just highlight that whole text and I'm going to double click my hyperlink. And now my hyperlink has been applied. And I'm going to do the same for my other two reports. So these are my vendors approval date expiring. and my system admin log. I'm going to go ahead and save my layout. And reload. And not exactly where I wanted it, but that's okay, I can play with that later. And so you can see I can now launch my events, or my reports. and showing me exactly what I need to see. And my system admin log. I can then select my date ranges. And maybe I even want to group by log types. So you can see, as, a, as an administrator, this might be good information for you to see all of the changes that are taking place in your system. So hopefully you can see the power of these general reports. Uh, there's, again, every category uh, that is represented in the software you can create a report on uh, as needed. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Thanks.